What's up guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X, and today I'm going to show you guys how to root the HTC One M9. Now this is going to be an incredibly simple procedure, so this won't take very long at all, uh, but basically we're just going to install a Team Win Recovery Project and then we will flash Super SU. Hopefully within the next couple of days I'll have an s off guide for you guys. I know that J Case has already been showing his pictures of his device, which is s off so that should be coming very soon. The only prerequisite to this root method is that your device should already be unlocked. If you have the developer edition, it came to you factory bootloader unlocked, so you don't have to do anything else but follow this guide. Um, otherwise, you'll need to go to hcdev.com and follow the walkthrough guide for unlocking your bootloader. Let's go ahead and get started with this root guide. Okay, so before we get started here, we're going to want to make sure that we have the Super SU zip on our phone. So we'll go ahead and go to the link in the description here that'll bring you to Chainfire's download of the Super SU. Just make sure that it is downloaded before we get started. And as soon as it's downloaded, we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so that is downloaded. It's now on our device, uh, so we can move forward with the process. Head to the link in the description. It'll bring you to this page here. You can go to this uh, link, and it'll bring you to the Team Win Recovery Project download page. Scroll down to where it says Primary, Recommended, and I just download the latest image. So you won't download this file here. That's the MB5. Uh, but instead you'll download the uh, twerp 2.8.60 HEMA image. Once that's downloaded, we will go ahead and drag that over into our Android folder. So we'll go ahead and show that in the Finder on a MacBook here. And we will drop it wherever your ADB or Fastboot files are stored. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of the quick and easy way to set up Fastboot and ADB. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that there. And we will go ahead and open our browser back up. Go back to the first page. If you haven't unlocked your bootloader yet, there are instructions here on how to unlock the bootloader. Mine is unlocked from factory, so I don't need to do this. Uh, but you may need to do this if you do not have the developer edition. You just log on to HTC Dev and uh, choose Unlock Bootloader. It will go ahead and guide you through the process. If your bootloader is already unlocked, this is what you will do. Uh, there is a link here for the 15 second ADB Fastboot installer. That's a good place uh, to go to install that ADB and Fastboot. It says plug the uh, 1M9 into your PC. So we'll go ahead and plug in the 1M9. And then we'll go ahead and turn on our USB debugging. So we'll go into settings, down to about, software information, and we will go to build number, click on that several times until it says we're a developer. Uh, from there, we will go back into settings, developer options, Go ahead and turn those on and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Go ahead and select OK. And then we can set that to the side. Okay, so from there we're going to open up a terminal or a command prompt. Okay, we'll go to ADB devices just to be sure that it sees the phone. Okay, it's going to say allow USB debugging. We'll say always allow from this computer and OK. Okay, so it says that the device is there but it's unauthorized. We just authorized it, so we'll try that again, ADB devices. And you'll see that it's there and it just says device and no longer says unauthorized. So we're good to move forward. Okay, the next thing we'll do is ADB reboot bootloader. Okay, that's gonna go ahead and boot our phone into bootloader mode. Okay, so from there we're going to scroll down to reboot to bootloader and select it. Okay, so once you are in download mode, we'll go ahead and flash the recovery. So we'll just go, so first we'll go ahead and CD into our folder. For me that's CD users Shane Starms desktop and my fastboot and ADB files are in this Android folder here so Android okay so once we're in the correct folder we'll go ahead and copy the name of our image okay so we'll copy the name of the image there we'll go fastboot fastboot flash recovery and then paste the name of the recovery Okay, that's going to go ahead and flash the recovery. You see it's sending it there, it's writing the recovery, and it is finished. So now what we'll do is we will go on the phone here, press the power key, and we'll go down to reboot to bootloader, press the power button. Okay, so from here we're going to go ahead and reboot uh, to recovery mode, press power. Okay, so there's Team Win Recovery Project. We'll go ahead and tap install. We'll go to our download folder and we will go ahead and flash the super SU that we downloaded earlier. Just 
go ahead and flash that. It's going to root your phone. Okay, so we'll go ahead and reboot the system and test to make sure that we are rooted. Okay, so now that we're booted back up, we should be able to run the root checker. Let's see here. We do have SuperSU now, so we'll go ahead and do the root checker. See if our device is rooted. Okay, so there it's asking for super user permissions. We'll go ahead and grant that, and it tells us that our device is rooted. So there you have it, guys. That is the root method for the HC1 M9. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.